Hey, what is going on, you guys? It is Mr. No Sleep here from Old School RuneScape, and welcome to the first day of forestry. In this video, I'll be chopping magic trees on my main account for five hours, and at the same time, I'll be chopping yew trees on my Iron Man for five hours, and we'll compare the results at the very end of the video, see what we can unlock, see what we can get from this uh, activity. It's, uh, I would say it's been a long time since I've seen a lot of people cutting the same tree in Old School RuneScape, but it's actually never been a thing to have this many people on one tree, whether it's a magic, maple, willow, yew, I mean the list goes on and on. So number one thing I want to point out about this update is it uh, is really involving the community, so that's great. Now forestry is a social focused expansion to woodcutting. It was announced in the winter of 2022 and it really just aims to make woodcutting a more social skill. Removing resource competition, introducing new events, and expanding the skill's economic offerings. There's also been quite a few updates just to the woodcutting skill in general, but I won't really go over those. Uh, you can, you know, surely find it on the wiki or just the old school RuneScape homepage. But basically, this video is just to cover forestry on two different accounts. It's really not the most efficient thing ever because if you're just on one account, then you'll have 100% focus um, for everything that's going to be spawning, and I really would not recommend to do this on two accounts. So don't mind the inefficient uh, XP slash rewards, but uh, just understand that using two accounts and having two activities going on at the same time, it's almost impossible to navigate both of them simultaneously. So I was kind of picking and choosing which activity I wanted to do, which event I should say. But during this video, you'll see all of the events that they have to offer with forestry and the mechanics behind them. I'll explain them a little bit, but this is really just my experience of doing this for five hours on release, see how much money I can make on my main account, and see what we can unlock on the Iron Man account. I decided to choose the magic trees just east of the range guild, and I decided to use the U trees just south of Sears Bank seemed to be pretty good locations, and I was also using worlds 302 and 303, which one of them was full most of the day, and the other one was close to it. Now, in order to improve, and I guess uh, make it so that this is the most efficient route possible, I imagine just using 10 people, 10 people that maybe you know, or just a group of 10 people in general in a separate world is probably the best way to go about doing this. But again, this is not a guide, uh, just really kind of just showing my experience here uh, while doing this on two accounts on two different trees throughout the last five hours today. Now, as you can see on screen here, this is a complete mess. There are so many people, there's so many random events, so many pets that you can accidentally click on that it's almost impossible to do this efficiently without having Entity Hider on Rune Light turned on. Not only can you hide other players around you, but you can also hide pets and you can also hide NPCs and random events. So I really recommend you turn that on. I ended up doing it about halfway through this video and it made it a hundred times easier to see all of the events and what you actually had to do and you wouldn't be mis clicking all the time. So that's just a little bit of advice for you guys. Now there are four different events that you can encounter. I'll just talk about the first one. That's the easiest one. That's the Leprechaun. Uh, basically you can just bank every single one of your logs with him if he happens to be summoned. And that's really it for him. He doesn't really offer much else. You can just quickly bank everything and it'll save you a little bit of time. Next we have on screen here the Struggling Sapling. After chopping down a tree, a poor struggling sapling will appear that needs your help to grow. You have to create the right combination of mulch to feed to the baby tree before it withers away. For this specific one, it was just needing three green leaves in a row. So that's actually one of the easiest ones to do, but other times you need to collect multiple of different resources on the ground and then add it. Same thing is going for this clip here on the main account. We're just kind of navigating around what we need. Most of the time, people will call out what you need. So you might need two green leaves and then one mushroom or one mushroom, two green leaves, one mushroom, one green leaf, one rotten. I mean, it really is different every single time time, but someone in the chat will call it out and then you just have to follow what they say and you'll be perfectly fine with that. It is a lot of clicking and again, having that entity hider turned on helps out a lot with the struggling sapling. Now here we have another event called flowering tree. Bees will appear alongside new flowers that want to bloom. So you have to find the right two flowers to move pollen between them. Sometimes these flowers are right next to each other. So you just click back and forth as you can see here. Other times one of the flowers might be 10 steps away from the first one. So this one 
one does require a lot of running depending on the spawn you get, but other than that, it's pretty easy to navigate. Now, after these events, you usually get a decent bonus in woodcutting XP, uh, but I have realized that not everyone receives this bonus. There's been times where I've done an excellent job and I get no bonus. There's been other times where I do minimal effort and I get a bonus of woodcutting XP. I'm really not sure. Again, this just came out today. Uh, there's a lot that I still don't know. I haven't seen a single video about this, even though there's already been a few uploaded. I just haven't had the time to watch them. So again, not too sure about that XP boost. But in general, everything I've shown you guys so far, it looks pretty simple to follow, uh, especially if you're just on one account. The problem with me being on two accounts was that I'd get two events at the same time. And there's just no way to do two events at the same exact time. There's It's just way too much clicking and it's all uh, being timed and it's going to go away. So, you know, you have to kind of prioritize one account over the other. But nevertheless, uh, it's still cool to do this on two accounts and kind of see two different uh, representations of it. And here on screen, we have the last event, Rising Roots. Essentially, the only thing you need to know about this one is just focus on chopping the glowing root to receive increased XP and extra bark. So people will point that glowing root out pretty quickly and you'll be able to see it, especially if your entity hiders turned on. And that's it. Everybody loves the roots because it's the easiest one. And yeah, it's my favorite by far. But other than that, uh, I'm, you know, so much can be said about this update. I mean, I think it's great. It's just, this is something for me personally, where I'm already 22 mil woodcutting XP on my Iron Man. I have the beaver. If you're curious how I colored him, basically I just used a magic log on him. I don't know if this was intended on the uh, new recoloring or if this was just a glitch, but yeah, that's how I got my beaver to be blue and it is incredible. So props to Jagex on that one. For my main account, I'm 52 mil woodcutting XP and yeah, I mean, again, I already have Lumberjack on both of my accounts. I don't have a beaver on uh, my main account, so that kind of sucks, but for woodcutting is like one of the only skills that I have done on all of my accounts. I even have 99 on my pure. So this was a, a kind of a strange update for me to partake in, mainly because I just, I don't know, I don't really woodcut anymore, you know? So uh, I think the number one thing I wanted to unlock was the log basket on my Iron Man account because it's kind of like a fish barrel. When you're fishing, you get two inventories instead of one. Well, that's what the uh, log basket as well when you're woodcutting. So I definitely want to get that on the Iron Man. On my main, I'll probably just choose something for profit and see how much money I can make today. But again, this is all subject to change. And what I really want to stress is the XP rate that you're seeing on screen, the 60k an hour at magic, 70k an hour at use. That is really good, but that you can get so much more than that. But just keep in mind, I was not being as efficient as I could have if I was just playing and focusing on one account. So yeah, remember that XP can be a lot more. I've seen people say 90k an hour, 100k an hour, just really depends on how good you are at this activity. What I am curious about is how much bark I received on both of my accounts uh, in this five hour session. So we just hit the five hour timer. We're going to go ahead and stop it right there. Uh, I would have done 10 hours today, but this video would have been out way too late. So I figure five hours is good enough. 335k experience gained at U trees in a time span of five hours and 325k XP gained at magic trees. 6,153 bark on the main account from the magic trees in five hours, as well as over 250 magic leaves, 100 U leaves, 20 willows, and 20 maples, 60 normal, and 40 oak. So those leaves are going to be used in the future, but I'll go ahead and sell them today, see what we can get out of it. On the Iron Man, I got 5,271 bark, as well as 120 magic leaves and 266 U leaves. So just enough to unlock that log basket. Uh, playing on two accounts, very difficult while doing this, but still a fascinating update, and I am curious what part two has in store. So now on the Iron Man, we're going to go ahead and purchase that log basket, which is... Uh, really just the main goal for this account. I'm really happy to unlock it. And if I ever want to go AFK woodcutting again, I can bank uh, half as much. So that's incredible. Definitely going to wear that. I think the graphics on it look pretty good. And you can also combine it with your forestry pack, but I have yet to do that. I just kept the leaves on the Iron Man, but on the main, as you can see here shortly, I'm just uh, unloading them all into the bank and I'll be selling them. And uh, on this account, I think I'm going to end up buying two log braces. They're 3000 infused barks a piece, as well as 300 U's and 300 maples. So maybe we'll see logs go up uh, in price. That'd be nice. But yeah, I'll go ahead and buy two of these and we'll put them in the grand exchange for two mil. But to my surprise, they actually sold for about 3.1 mil a piece. So that's not too bad. But uh, granted, this is the first day. They probably will go down. But yeah, not bad at all. So I made 7 million GP in five hours, 325k woodcutting XP. Plus, we got some clue scrolls, but I have yet to complete those. Uh, the Iron Man account obtained the log basket. And uh, yeah, good experience. Good overall update. When part two comes out, I'll stick with uh, one account. And that should be much more bearable, much more uh, efficient as well. 
well. Well, a huge thank you to the YouTube channel members with a special shout out to Matthew Stivers, Angel's Blood, Deception Z, and XXXotixOSRS. I have 1,000 Barrows chests for you guys uploading tomorrow, as well as 40 Elite Clue Scroll caskets and multiple Masters. Stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss it. And thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch today's video. And I appreciate you guys so much. Until next time, Mr. No Sleep, out.